Okay. Hey. You. You. Okay. Okay. Are we Are starting? We starting? Fun. Fun. Yes, let's yeah. do this the whole time. The whole time. That's fun and not annoying yeah. at all. <laughs> not annoying at all. At all. At all. At all. At all. We need to start a band. Yeah, we should start a band. What would our band name be if we uh, start a band? Fuck, I'm so uh, bad at this. Um, I would say PK and Sandy's, but that's been taken. Oh, it has Sean. it been taken? It, it has been taken, yes. That's a band name? It is, yeah. It's a very famous what band name. What is the genre yeah. of music? Um, punkish, probably. Mm, punkish. Uh, we're like punkish. Americana. Yeah, we're punk. Yeah, yeah we're punkish. Yeah, yeah, that's the punkest thing you can be. We're like punkish. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we'll fuck you up, but not really. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I I listened to a, an interview with uh, Donald Fagan. He's the front man for Steely Dan. Mm, Steely Dan for life. Which Here's is like Steely Dan. For people who do not know, yeah. Adam is obsessed with Steely Dan. Oh, loves, am I ever. Loves the Dan. I'm addicted to the Dan. And uh, <laughs> there's an interview where he, he took credit for inventing punk music. And I'm like, you're no. out of your mind, dude. He's like, yeah, man. Our, you know, if you listen to our lyrics, they're very like, you know, anti-establishment and sarcastic and very defiant and like nobody was really doing that before us. So I, I think maybe you could say we maybe invented pong. You know? Are you reeling <laughs> in the years? Okay, yeah. <laughs> very, yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is so fucking punk. It's the no, most not punk music I've ever heard in my entire life. Which is why I, I like it. It's yeah. Great. No, I mean we're here, for, but let's it's just plain. be real about what it is. Let's not yeah. lie about it. Yeah, I agree. Let's be straightforward. Um. It's going to be so hard not to just talk about Steely Dan for an hour yeah, now. Gonna, we're going to stop it right now. Oh. We're going to shut it down right but right, let me put I, it back I in. Let me put think, it back in. I do think we should mention one Council more thing. Was the best. Uh, the was plastic with this. Uh. Oh, so. uh, okay. I'm good. Right. Okay. Uh, we'll whew. just stop it. I was going to say, whew. but we're fine. Yeah. You. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. You need to put yourself together right now. <sighs> Yeah, For I those do. of you, I do. you know, since you cannot see Adam right now, he, his pieces of skin are falling off. Yeah. He, physically, he does not look good. No. Well, you got me wearing these jammy shorts. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to do with my life. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I never wore pajamas until this year. Yes. And uh, I just, I, I don't, I'm too, I'm too loose, too loose with it. That is the, that's the weirdest thing. Yeah. I get home and one of the first things <sighs> I do is take off my pants. Yeah. One of the first things I do. Mm -hmm. Because you want to just chill. You're in your own domain. It's time to relax. It's time to enjoy the night. You're done. So the idea that you would come home, tired, had full day's work, and then said, I'm going to keep these clothes on, confined and buttoned Mm -hmm. in until I go to bed. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what most normal people do, right? Is they put on PJs or nothing and... They just chill out. Oh, yes. I'm Okay, yes. I thought you were going to say most normal people do what you do, and then I yeah. was going to have to do a hard disagree. No, I can recognize yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I just, you know, I uh, I just, it's work. I'm like, I don't want to do work, you know, to take clothes off, you know? You know, so I, I absolutely have to. You described it to me so well, because I think when we first had the discussion, and I was yeah. like, what the, why are you doing that? Yeah. Um, You said that... You come in and you want it. That's a full day. You did. You had those clothes. And then the next step is going to bed. Mm-hmm. So you don't need. I mean, it is the work of changing in, but you don't need. a. Yeah. You don't need another outfit change. Right. Yeah. I think there's that. There's like needing to buy more clothes also. Mm-hmm. You know, if I could just have one pair of pants and three shirts, I if I could get away with that, I'd do it. Yeah. Do it oh. a heartbeat. You really would. Yeah, I do. I wear the same. <laughs> I, don't, I know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. But I do wear the same pair of pants probably more often than yeah. I should. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll wear. An odor I'll wear ca- I'll wear khakis four days in a row. Oh, yeah. Shit, I wasn't supposed to say it out loud. Yeah. Damn it. I promise you, you are yeah. not the only one. Is that normal? Yes. Yeah? Are you kidding me? Same if, khakis? If they do not smell. Yeah. They are good. They cannot tell. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I was going to say, they come from hell. And I'm yeah. like, that doesn't work. That doesn't make sense. You're going to hell. Yeah. 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 That's extreme. Yeah, it is mm-hmm. extreme. That's a very extreme. Do? But I think a lot of people, I mean, I, the way I function, 
I mean, I real if I wear something, I pretty much. Mm -hmm. It depends on what it is, but I will totally rewear it. Yeah. I mean, if it again, if it doesn't smell bad, it's gonna. I don't want to do more laundry because I wore it for five hours that day. No. Right. Yeah. No. I know. It's ridiculous. But you hate my move where I, I put the thing on the hamper. Like I'll wear, I'll take, when I do take off the, 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 the daily pants that I wear every day, I put it on top of the hamper uh, as opposed to hanging it back up because I'm not a psychopath who hangs dirty clothes back up. That's ridiculous. All right. But you're not a fan of that. But I can't put it that's, in the hamper that's either. That's a logistical issue then for it's, me. Then it's in the dirty clothes. Because I have to put my clothes in the hamper. So now I'm dealing with your <sighs> bullshit Just pants on top. Just lift it up. Cra cramping my style. Just lift it up. What if I'm like, oh, I have it's to a new throw RV this. Song. And I'm, I'm grabbing, I'm like, oh, let me just, you know, I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to flip it. Mm -hmm. Why is it heavier? Oh, Adam's khakis with his thick ass belt are on here. Yeah, that I've had for like and I'm and my years. upper arm, my upper arm, like my upper body strength isn't good, <laughs> yeah. so I can barely lift it as yeah. it is. That's so. why you've been lifting, so that's you can right. more easily pick my yes, clothes up. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's that's the only reason. Really, the only reason because of this pants situation. Yeah, it's getting but out of hand. I gotta say, I actually do hang up my dirty clothes, mm -hmm. but I have a system. Yeah. Of when I take clothes off and they're dirty, I put them at like the start of where my hanging clothes are. Okay. So they're separated from the other clothes. Ah. And sometimes they'll be inside inside out. So it's like these are, you know, we should go with through these first. Yeah. This is should these should be your go to. Mm hmm. If you need to throw something on, get on, get these on. Okay. I smell the crotch. I throw them up. Smell the crotch. Throw them up. Unless, you know, if they smell bad. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. What do you think that meant? What, is, what, are we, what are we trying to do with that? I one? don't know. Okay. Uh, we gave it a let's go. Not, let's not dissect it. Let's move it. on from that. Yeah, let's not look let's too far right into it. Let's move right on from that. Yeah. How you doing, baby? You look so great. Oh, you look so thanks. beautiful. I had a little bit of a time. <sighs> I have thoughts. Let's hear it. Let's Thank go you. after the cosmetic industry. Let's Get they have ruined it. too many ladies too many Sunday evenings for far mm -hmm. too long. Mm -hmm. It's time to pay the piper. Yes. By them not paying the piper. Yes. No repercussions. There's will actually occur. no repercussions of any corporate entity ever. No. Oh, yeah. Really? Not really. They might lose, like, sales go down slightly. Oh, it's a hundred thousand dollar fine. Yeah, exactly. but yeah, we're making we're... millions, but maybe we make a little less. Shut up. Yeah. We're progressive. Um, very progressive. So, um, well, I it was a it was a kind of a it was a culmination of things. Mm -hmm. So I got overtone. Shout out to overtone. Overtone. Yes, shout out. Yes, because it's worked <laughs> for me in the past. Yeah. I need people to know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. It's worked for me in the past. It's great. It's a conditioner that colors your hair, and the the time I dyed my hair before this was with like a pastel purple. Barely did shit. I yeah. mean, very little effect. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm like, okay, well, how about I try a pink? Because I've done a pink in the past, and that has been pretty good. Yeah. And I did it, and it is just not where I want it to be. Mm -mm. Now, one would say, Allison, yeah, that sucks, but it's fine, right? Yes, it would mm -hmm. be fine. But, of course, as I'm waiting and looking in the mirror, I notice, hmm, I can see my veins in my arms now. Oh. That's a new thing. Oh, that's weird. It's oh, like, I can see them too. Okay, well, that's not even the part I was talking about, Adam. Oh. So now you're... Well, those that's been like that. This is just my arm, but it's in that, here. That, it's like, that, has, that has been happening. That's been happening. It's like parts. And I will yeah. say my mom has spider veins, so I know I'm going to get them. Spider veins. That's oh, that was all. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So <laughs> there's that. I'm getting some acne. I'm seeing the, like, the lines in my face. And all I'm thinking about is the aging process now and how frustrated I am. And then and then I'm like, oh, this is I hate all of this. I'm ugly and everything is terrible. But at least I can have a fun hair color. Boom. That that. Nope. No, you cannot. Mm -hmm. That little light in your life that you were hoping to grab onto is gone. Yeah. And that's not even there. So I had a little bit of a time. The last thing I want to say about this is that I would. And then we won't say anything else. That's we're At putting all. it to bed. We are. It's done. 
It's We've done. said it's, it's lullabies. Mm -hmm. It's already Tucked gotten it up twice for milk. Yeah, we say go the fuck to sleep. Yeah. You're done. We've destroyed you with a belt. Now you're crying. Yeah. Well, and we're, now we didn't you've know. tuckered yourself out from crying, and now you're actually going to sleep. <laughs> we need to have a discussion about your parenting skills yeah. later. Yeah. So um, the thing I was thinking about, and I think about this a lot when, as everyone does, we all age and we notice things, mm -hmm. little things. Little things no one ever talks about that you didn't know would happen when you age. And I think about when I was like a teenager and I was talking to somebody who was older. And, you know, women, specifically women, not really men, are always like, I'm not going to tell you how old I am. And blah, and blah. Yeah. And I remember always thinking like, shut up. Like, I'm mm -hmm. not going to care. Yeah. Whatever. You know, we all age. It doesn't matter. Yes. So I will say I don't care about telling my age. But I want to punch that you? little girl. I'm th I'm 31. Ooh. Just <laughs> tracking to see if you meant it. Okay. And you did. Let them know. Let yeah. them know. But the thing, the thing that I want to, you know, punch that little girl in the face for yeah. is that I remember thinking like, <laughs> who cares? We all age, right? Yes. And now I'm realizing I see why it's upsetting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we age, you know, because in my mind, I'm like, oh, we get a wrinkle or two. I'm like, what? I'm growing a hair on my chin for some reason now. Yeah. That's a thing that's happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, my knee pops. Yeah. Oh. For some reason, my knee hurts. Yeah. You're falling apart with your back. Oh, and, and my your neck. neck. Your neck, your back, and your pussy and crack. Yep. And my pussy and my crack. Mm hmm. All those things hurt you. Yeah, I think we should normalize women being cool with their age. Because, like, you know, women are getting much more attractive uh, at an older age. And I think we need to celebrate that. You know, like, I think it needs to be like, I'm 53 and I'm still fucking. Woo! Yeah, I like that. You know? I'm here for that. I think that's what we should be doing. Get it! Because then, then it could be like a little game. Be like, oh, man, I found... I found me a 62 year old that was still gunning it. Yeah. You know, that I'm like, Oh yeah, yeah. let's, let's make it a game. Let me bust it. That's that. what it should be. <laughs> let's make it a game so that men can pursue yeah. women as objects into their sixties. As far yes. as we can go. Let's totally do let's it. Go the distance. Um, I am being sarcastic by the way, Yo, for yeah. those who may not understand <laughs> hard disagree to what he's yeah. saying. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't have any, you know, I don't care about this opinion. Either. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, you said something and I was gonna I was gonna yeah. say something else to that. Dang it. Oh, it was gonna be good too. So, but anyway, you know, the hair dye, not quite what you hoped it would be. I think it still looks fantastic. Mm. I think you look You're gorgeous. biased. You're obsessed with me. So. <clears throat> I am obsessed with you. Uh, but I will say compared to the last time, it it, it it is not as pink as it as it was. Why are you hurting me intentionally? But were you Why? were you a blonde when you dyed it pink last time yes, also? Okay. I was. That's why people go blonde, right? So they can dye it other colors. Yeah, I mean, yes, 100%. So you lighten yeah. up your hair so it becomes more vibrant. Okay. You know, because you could have a light brown hair and dye over it. It's just not going to be as vibrant of a color as if it's blonde. Cause yeah. That's, it's really going to come out that way. I wish it were uh, normal for straight white men to dye their hair. It's like, getting more normal. Like different colors, you know? Yes. Like not just like you know, dying out the grays. You know? Yes, it is. It's you think so? Than, yes. Really? hundred percent. Where have you seen that? On the internet. <laughs> <laughs> On TikTok. I've seen 19 year olds who are very progressive with the yeah. green hair. I think, but is it, you know is, what? Who but is it like, it's got to be like, like really like hard, dark tone colors, you know, like steel, you know, or no, like I don't think rust so. belt red. What? No. You know, I think Every I've seen like blue. Yeah. And blue, okay. I don't but know, like a dark blue it. though, right? Like a dark blue? Like a man blue, right? Like a man blue. Like a masculine blue, like you're chopping lumber kind of blue. Like baby blue. <laughs> That's a man blue because yeah. it indicates gender. Yes. <laughs> Boys are baby blue. <laughs> yeah. I don't Therefore remember. I'm I, a man. I don't think it was dark blue. I can't remember the shade. Okay. But I agree. I mean it's definitely not as accepted. Yeah. But what I love is we are kind of veering towards like men wear like eyeliner and nail polish and that's getting more accepted well that was a big thing in the 80s too right With glam rock you know i think yeah. it, i think it comes back in waves but you know and then that you yeah. know i feel like there was a, a big rise in metrosexual trends in the or in the mid aughts you know with like pop, pop punk coming back you know i agree 
Um, I remember the, you know, when we were when early aughts, it was like the spiked hair, the like frosted tips, anyone? Yeah. So, but men were dyeing their hair, but they weren't like, actually, no, some, I feel like I've seen some green spiky hair back in the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guess the what? got to be glued. <laughs> yes. You know, that brand. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, I had spiky hair in sixth grade. Good did you. I show you that? Did, did, have you seen that picture of me? Are you wearing a, like a button up in it? Oh, always. Yeah. Okay. I think I know the one. Like Walmart always. Yeah. yeah. That was, they used to be the Like phrase. always low prices. Like, always low prices. Yeah. Remember when they had the smiley face? That was, yeah. It was a happier time. I missed that smiley face. Me too. Face. And they had this, it would be bumping around. Right in my day. I know. I really want to shop there, but not anymore because you make me sad. Yeah. I always thought that phrase was weird because it's like, it's kind of aggressive, you know, like always low price, comp, period. Space, always, <laughs> always. Okay, okay, you get it. I... Low prices, always, always. <laughs> okay, oh, dude. No Jesus. one was trying to dispute you. Yeah. Sit down. We get it, dude. We're, You're I'll be the there. big box store. Yeah. And now they can't like they like it's like Papa John's. They literally can't say it like better ingredients. It's like yeah, no, bitch. It's yeah. not. It's not. I cannot. <laughs> I can't legally I don't say be that going anymore. To Walmart's bad things happen in Walmart's. Oh, what Stresses really? Like what? What happens, what happens in Walmart? It's just it's the people in there. Yeah. It's the crowds. Like I think my experiences have been like the lines are super long. You got the weirdest fucking people in Walmart. Remember that that website? I don't know if it's still around. Yeah. The people of Walmart. Do you know that one? Uh, no, but I see enough of like Walmart yeah. related content out there to to know what it probably is about. Can I tell you a story that I have told you before, oh, but I haven't told the pod? Please do. My friend and I were at Walmart, standing in line, mm -hmm. purchasing our items like yeah. good Americans do. You know, contributing mm -hmm. to patriotic the Americans. That's right. Exactly. Generates money. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the gentleman in front of us, he has, you know, he's got like a flat rim hat. He's got like, you know, his, he's just, he, he thinks he's like really doing it. He's got like, you know, big baggy jeans and he's got like this like puffy jacket and he has $1 bills bobby pinned throughout on his God. whole person. Yeah. I mean, probably amounting to no more than $15. <laughs> <laughs> no more, not a lot of money, I, and maybe other things too. And then he's standing there, he's looking at us, yeah, looking down at his dollar bills, kind of doing a little, uh, uh. ladies, and then looking back at us. <laughs> Are you interested? And looking down at his dollar bills, and I'm like, surely yeah. this man. Does not think we are seeing these dollar bills, <laughs> and we're like, damn, Poppy, you got money. Yeah, he's There's negotiating. No he's like, how many of these dollars? Yeah, will and it he's take? and he'll look away and then kind of looks over, and we're I'm like, this is I've never in my life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you you see a person and you're like, this is <clears throat> th how? Yeah, you know, you go, every, you see some basic ass people your whole life, and then boom, this thing happens, and you're like, what? Mm -hmm. You are proud, okay. Don't look at us, though. Stop looking at us. It's yeah. Weird. A lot of mental health, uh, illness in, in Walmart. <laughs> um, and I don't know. I wonder if that were, was always the case and we just like like we just segregated people based on class. And so it wasn't as noticeable, you know, because sure. like now everyone goes to Target. All the I know, quote unquote it's normies like the go to Target. Yeah. You know? it's, it used to be like the bougiest of the stores. Yeah. And now it's just like middle class. Any, anyone yeah. who has like. A little bit of money goes to Target. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, because yeah, I mean, you go into Walmart today, and it's like, I, I feel like I feel like I'm walking into like the apocalypse. I'm like, oh, this is the end of days here at here at Wally World. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and there's nothing good there. Everything's just generic as fuck. Yes. You know, and it looks like it's like five dollars. It looks like it's gonna break like two seconds. You know. It's just, uh, it's not great. And, yeah. And I don't want to do, I don't want to go in there ever again. Yeah. It's You're okay. Really sad. It's all right. You're all right. Sometimes you do have to go in there though because they yeah. get good deals. Yeah. Well, it's fun. I was about to say what's funny Always is Always low prices. <laughs> How often? Always. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so I feel like, again, I'm, I'm talking a lot of shit about it, 
But when I do go into Walmart for something, I'm like, oh, this stuff is actually pretty cool. It's $5. All right. I, I kind of look yeah. around and I'm having a little bit of fun. Yeah. Because I, there, you know, it is reasonable stuff, especially stuff like I'm not, I know what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. So I'll go in there and I'm like, I don't really care. I'm going to get a couple plates, whatever. You know what you're about. And if you need to grab some stuff. Yeah. It's just the, the toll it takes on my mental health to be, to just physically be in a Walmart. Yeah. Because I'm really anxious. I don't know what's going to happen. The lines are usually long. People want to act right. They're mm-hmm. super close to me. That's always it's the too worst much. when the lines are super long. Yes. Because because then you got, always got the people that are like super entitled. They're like, oh, can you believe this? Oh. Uh, uh. I have to wait for my items to purchase them. It's like, where do you think you're at? Stop it. You're at Walmart. <laughs> They Check yourself. are squeezing as much out of you as possible. And that includes your time because time is money and they ain't got time for your bullshit. That's right. So they're going to make you wait in there as long as uh, they think that you will tolerate it as, as much. And they don't care about how much of a stink you'll raise or to the other Doesn't people matter. around you and the, to the, to, to the cashier. They don't give a fuck about that. It's nope. all just like how long are, are they are you willing to stand there and be a bitch about it but still pay for your shit and walk out yes you know and nine times out of ten you'll i mean you'll wait all day yeah you'll wait 45 what are you minutes do? yeah well first off just to have a story exactly just right just for the story alone yeah i um i have a rule like if i don't need something or if it's like less than five items mm-hmm. nope bye don't need it yeah i don't i do i'm it's fine but really? remember wow. that one That's, time you're playing hardball. Oh, I, I will do not. I do not want to stand in the line. I yeah. mean, I'm don't don't get me wrong. I will be patient, but I think that if it's not if it's not worth it, I'm like I'll just get these another day. Yeah. I usually I'm not going to commit that. Yeah. And there have been times where I'm like I should just waited. Um, remember when we went to the Walmart and we were getting. I don't even remember what we were getting, but the line was insane. I think it was right before. Yeah. You remember this? We what, were what getting stuff for Mexican. We were making carne asada. Ooh, we're fun. What was it? Skirt steak. Was something happening that it was so long? No, I think it was just Saturday. Was it, it was July? Saturday. No, it was Saturday oh. afternoon eight, oh. or Saturday evening. And sure. we just hit, went in at the wrong time. I yeah. think that's all it was. I don't think it was a special occasion. Maybe, maybe Memorial Day. Mm, I thought it was something. Well, maybe. I don't know. In any case, we were in the super long line. And yeah. it's so much easier when you're with someone. Yeah. If I'm with someone, I'll be like, we're just going to chat. Yeah. That's fine. But remember that woman? She, We were standing in line, and this woman at some point was like, fuck this, and has a cart full of shit yeah. and leaves it and walks away <laughs> and leaves it in the middle of, like, yeah. the walkway. Yeah. And I was horrified. Yeah. Because you're not even going to try to get out of the way. Right. And I was very vocal about the inconvenience. That she imposed on everyone around her. Yeah, because it was like right in the middle of the line. Yes. So people had to walk around. Yes. To continue the line. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Also, and think about poor like workers the worker. Are, yes. Put that stuff back. All, and see, that's if I have a yeah. cart full of stuff, I'm just waiting. I've collected everything. Yeah. That's. Oh, people don't know how to crazy. act at Walmart. They don't know how to act right. People don't know how to act. It is so insane to me. Yeah. Just don't be. Just like don't do that. That's so rude. I tell you what, now that like we've got like, you know, in like the drive up pickup deal at Target, I'm never walking into a retail store ever again. Yeah. I will not do it. I'm not going back. I don't care. I don't care if they're like, oh, COVID's over. We're not doing that anymore. I'm like, no, we're doing it. No. I'll, I'm going to knock on the glass like, hey, <laughs> I'm parked over here. I bought stuff. Go get it for me. You know? <laughs> Sir, I don't. You ha- We don't have that service anymore. I yeah, don't. you do. Yes. I wrote down the list of things that I would like. You I'm it protesting it <laughs> yeah. until it comes back. Okay. I'm handcuffing myself in my car <laughs> to the wh- where the drive-in you know spots used to be. And uh, are, you, are you are you going to handcuff yourself in your car to your wheel <laughs> or like outside? Well, I think it'd be, you know, uh, it depends on the weather, probably. <laughs> okay. You know, the trick is they can't sure. see me changing the handcuffs out. 
Because then they might catch me. Like, ah, gotcha. Yeah. And then ah. I'm like, ah, you got me. Fine. Go bye. Yeah. I don't think that service will ever go away. I I, I, I doubt it. I mean, especially really because like, think about I mean, we're all losing abortion. Can we at least keep that? You know. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, give us that same level of. You can't be necessity. taking stuff from us that we like yeah all the time. yeah there you go you know, we like this this works uh-huh we've had it for a long time you can't just be taking it back oh i don't even know the drive the drive up stuff oh okay about. good yeah all right we can't not the other stuff get because rid of that we're not stuff. gonna get into it's too important the length and history and as a society um talking about drive up parking spaces yes again drive up parking pick spaces up items well and also like let's think about this it's kind of ableist to mm-hmm. not have it right Correct. people who have you know physical disabilities people who have you know mental impairments that you know get really anxious in stores or especially because of covid yeah. covid covid people because of colby that's right kobe r.i.p um <laughs> people are kobe. not comfortable so taking that away i think is kind of ridiculous mm-hmm. especially or moms or dads you have all these kids and going in i mean it is just so much more um easy to to have that service yes it it makes sense and i think that you know people are still going in so it's not as though it's you know it's not it's i would assume it's probably bringing in a little bit more revenue considering people are might be going that wouldn't otherwise if they can't you know yeah or another thing is you can just if i'm clicking and buying things i have this moment of, okay, I get two things. It's like $14. And I'm like, is this worth a trip? Maybe I should see what else I need. I have a moment of like, let me get it all out of the way. Yeah. But, you know, I'm also not impulse buying while being in the store. Because that's, you know, another big problem. Right. When you're they, in- they do want. And see, that's why they yeah, want to get rid of it. Because yeah. they want you. To go in there and see and get shit you don't need. See, the man's trying to control your actions and your entire life uh, trajectory. Yeah. By potentially getting rid of this service and right. getting you back in, you know. And also to make me feel ways. bad for aging as a woman. So Yep, also that too. That. Baby, also I that. um I um something I want to share with you real quick. Like, we'll just go ahead and get this I'm out. I'm already right. nervous. Okay. We don't normally cover Lines the news the here okay. on just a couple of thoughts. Yeah, we don't um, like to look at the internet probably. We don't look at the internet ever. Mm-hmm. But there is this one. Thing. Oh no! Um, Ooh, just one. I'm gonna read this headline for okay. you. Okay, this is from uh, Extra Extra. Read all about it. Yeah, uh, this is from the uh, very credible news site, uh, the Hollywood Gossip. <laughs> um, Tammy Slayton <gasps> banned from TikTok. No. Yeah. What happened? <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, I... The Thousand Pound Sister star has been in rehab facility since the end of 2021. We knew that, right? right. Old news. We're fans of the show. We 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 got in it like uh, season three. We haven't seen Very the first late. two. Seasons. We got in it on an airplane. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I watched it as a joke. Like I'm like, this fucking. Ironically, can you believe watch. it? And then by the time we landed, I'm like, oh, I'm so invested in their lives <laughs> now. I want to know how they're. I want to know what yeah. they. I want to know if they succeed. You know, I yes. know. Is Amy gonna get that house? Yeah. You know, is Tammy going to get off the booze? I don't know. <laughs> I know. That was. Ugh. Anyway, so um, uh, Rehab 2021 has stopped the longtime reality star from sharing a number of updates on social media. We've seen those. Oh, yes, we have. They're pretty rough, right? It is uncomfortable to watch because yeah. it's like the majority of them yeah. are her, you know, lip syncing to a song or a sound poorly yeah and it's kind of mismatched and she's kind of doing like a uh, and it's like a filter yeah and i'm just it just makes me kind of sad to be honest with you it's almost it like anti anti com content you know like yeah one of the things that i think keeps us from producing more content is yeah. um a, a, a need to feel like it's good you know yeah. also mental mental well-being mental well you know mental yes well-being. and tammy doesn't have that uh, no. her her talks are usually them just, out. it's just fifteen seconds of hers her with like a, a like a face swap yeah or filter, like this, or a, filter. Like the, a filter or like the sign 
of like, what's your sign? And then yeah. it, and then it oh, yeah. Taurus. Ding, 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 ding. And she's like, what? She's like, she I did, never thought just, I was a Taurus, but just I does guess a face I am. And she doesn't, there's no talking. And then every once in a while, there's a clip of, you all are saying this. I'm going to address blah. I'm going to do what I want. Yeah. And that's Y'all it. hate me. Y'all think I can't do nothing. Well, yeah. I can do stuff. I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's so that's worse, Tammy. That is worse. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, let me. Uh, many months late, we post silly TikTok videos. Um, she seemed to be doing pretty well. Um, oh no! Oh no! What's Lost happening? Okay, here we go. Sorry, I accidentally clicked on clickbait. Oh, been there. But the recent silence has fans concerned. Has something happened to Ooh, Tammy? Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, late last year, Sarah, serious medical crisis, mm-hmm. medically induced coma, according to her brother, uh, closes our, uh, yep, oh, get to it. Tammy's lungs collapsed and the cable <sighs> network personality stopped breathing at one point. Oh my God. That's why she had to get the trach. Oh God. Because she, she was so big, she couldn't breathe on her own. Because it, it, I think what it does, it, it, mm-hmm. it, cause when you're that big, yeah. Like carbon dioxide. It, be, it gets caught you up get in carbon, your windpipe. Carbon monoxide poisoning. I think it's carbon dioxide poisoning. Right? You could be right. I do because not you're, know. Because we breathe out carbon oh, dioxide. Oh, sure. All right? right. She's trying. When she's. <gasps> it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't that felt mean. Yeah. Um, okay. Is your sister okay? She hasn't posted in a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, listen to this. Okay. Uh Amy says, uh, yes, she has been locked out of her account and had to set up new ones, replied Amy, oh. uh, who added in surprising fashion, and TikTok banned her. <gasps> Whoa. Why? Also, real quick, yeah. they are from Kentucky, so. Shout out. Shout out to Kentucky. We got all the celebrities. We What's got, up? We got Tammy and Amy, right? We got Jack Harlow. Um, Johnny Depp is from Owensboro. Owensboro. <laughs> George Clooney went to college here George briefly. Went to college here. And then we got Abe uh, Lincoln. Abe Lincoln. Shout Ayo. out. Shout out. Fuck you, Illinois. He's not sure. Fuck sure's. you, Illinois. He's Wasn't ours. born there. Wasn't born there. Was he, Illinois? Yes. You mean really annoying, Illinois? Oh, gosh. Yeah. So clever. Yeah. So clever. Uh, it's unclear what led to the ban. As Tammy, as we said, usually she mm. uses silly filters. She's a silly and, goose. Okay, nothing that would prompt a ban from any platform. I would yeah, she she's done nothing offensive or, you know, reprehensible that would really, you know, cause that kind of yeah. So action. yeah, so really no no good no reason here. Okay, this you is know? they were they were pulling us in. There was no, they're not telling us anything, and I'm offended. I'm offended, yeah. and they got us. So I hate when I've been talk. had. Do you think we can survive without her, without her content? I mean, well, considering I haven't looked at it in months, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I guess you didn't even know it was gone, did you? No, I mean, I've <laughs> only I only looked at it when we were watching them. Yeah, when it was that, and then when it was relevant, when it was relevant. and yeah. then I think I don't know how it came up again. Then I checked her TikTok, and then I was like, okay, and then moved on with my life. Yeah, and I haven't thought about them since. Yeah, we you know we don't usually okay. watch a lot of trash TV, but no, we I think don't. There are a few cases where you know they capture our hearts, and yeah. you know this was one of them. The sucker. I love that the house Amy bought was like, like she's like it's a step up, and like it's trash. It still sucks, you yeah. know. Like, where, don't they make money? Like, what's going on here? You know, I don't really understand. Surely they can make something. They can buy yeah, a nicer house. But you know house what? I think that. it's better. I don't know. So elitist. Whatever. Yeah, I know. I was like, yeah. damn, don't come for them. Yeah. You know, they're fixing it up. It's so, it's so hard buying them. You know, in this, yeah. in this in economy. In this economy, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's, I, I am surprised too. We looked it up and I think she's worth like half a mil. No, is, that can't yes. be right. Give it a goog. Huh? No, don't. We don't goog here. Oh, we don't, don't goog you, here. Yeah. Don't you goog it. I just want to see more from the brother, you know, because he's got this like, he's oh, got this attitude. <laughs> he's, he sounds like he's been smoking for Tell 40 me. years. Tell you, I, I don't, I don't give a fuck what what the bitch does. I mean, we gonna go in there. We're going we gonna, there. <laughs> Tell me, what's she gonna do? She go for trace after? She ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> she ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, he doesn't like care. That. He's <laughs> done with it. Yeah. Proud of him for losing weight, by the way. Yeah, good for I, him. That's I, rough. I love them because they remind me of my 
relatives. Yeah. I think they're so funny. Yes. Because my relatives are very funny. And it's that Your same kind of attitude. Like, well, we, well, I don't know what we're going to do I about know, it. But, I you love know, it. We're just going to get out there. We're going to do our thing. And, you know. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's funny because. The our families are so incredibly different. Oh, First off, night and day. north and south, and my grandma is from Jackson. South will rise again. <laughs> All right, <laughs> he doesn't mean that. Um, <laughs> she's from Ta- Jackson, Tennessee, so she does have her like Southern Belle kind of Southern yeah. family, which I met, and they were very lovely. But what I grew up with are you know Northern family. <sighs> And it's just so, I mean, again, everyone is yeah. very liberal. I, yeah. I think we're all on the same page with most, Yeah. I think most things. Mm-hmm. And again, we haven't gone into conversations of all topics, but yeah. we're all pretty much, and there is probably a little bit of an elitist. A little waspiness. Oh, for, us, for sure on my grand side. I probably haven't, I haven't heard the, the word wasp so many times in, in the span of a year and a half. I've, wa- wasp, not wop. What is, wop is wet ass wasp. pussy. Well, we'll play it back and you could be right. uh yeah but who knows yes i know i've said it many a time i've because it's the the only way to accurately describe what it is and i yeah. and there it's a very different culture of you, we don't talk about anything bad and we just kind of yeah. you know we keep it up we'll and just gloss over it all and it's not even like behind closed doors shit hits the fan from my yeah. understanding of what you know how my family not not my personal family but not my in, you know my my grand and her kids and everything very much oh we don't fight and we don't do this and yeah. pleasant and whatever oh yeah whereas so my my bad. family you know we ruin relationships on a, on a game of croquet yeah you know i cannot get over you all play croquet yeah it's like that's so because croquet used to be like a classy very classy i game. think it's a you know british the thing. game of the elite I, I think, know from Alice in Wonderland. That's when I first heard croquet. There has to be, there has to be, there had to have been some sort of like movement where like croquet was like, just became very popular with like working class people. Is that right? Where it Do became other... like widely available. I don't know. You know, that's a, such a great I, question. Honestly, I, really don't I mean, know. I really don't Who think else anyone croquet? else plays croquet. You know, say in the comments, everyone who's listening. Yeah. Our audience. Yeah, in the comments. Shout out! I, I I love saying that. I really enjoy. <laughs> yeah, we want to hear in the comments. Tell me your croquet the only, stories. The only time they could comment is if they're watching, listening to this on YouTube, right? Oh, That's yeah. really the only. Uh, yeah. I mean, unless they wanted to give us a review. Hey, oh, probably not the best fun. time to say this, by the way. But if you, I mean, good God, if any of you are listening out there, anyone at all. Anyone. Also, we love you. And yes. You're you're if you happen to be listening to this, please, whatever, you know, whatever podcaster, you know, pod, what is that podcast? What? Casting, whatever. We've lost them already. Whatever podcast tool. Like, subscribe, rate, review. Rate, like, Those subscribe, rate, re- rate, review, like, like subscribe. Like, okay. subscribe. LSRR. 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 Because... We need it. We gotta make some fucking money off this <laughs> yeah. thing, baby. That's, it's all for profit. That's what it's bills. for. I got bills. I got debts. I got oh my, I got a car payment. I gotta pay, <laughs> man. Like you it's rough out here, dude. Struggling. You get it. I if know you, you get it, listener. Do that, man. That yeah, would, that'd be great. You got five dollars on you. Ten dollars oh. on Uh-oh, you. Oh, pork chop. Ayo. Yeah. <laughs> We, uh, I'm from this, uh, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Okay. We, I want to get back to the croquet. I'm sorry, real quick. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go on, go But on. I just wanted to say that real quick, but anyway, you know, so my family, you know, a bunch of, uh, I hope this isn't a derogatory word, but they're, you know, a bunch of rednecks, you know, and, the, and God love them. They're so great. Yeah. They're in your face. They, they're, they are they're who genuine. they are. They're genuine. I love the genu- genuineness. If they're, Genuity. if they're not, if they're not happy, they're going to let you know, you know, if they're, if you're doing something, they're not into the oh like, yeah why don't y'all go do all do, do, do this you know <laughs> it's all that that's the whole every conversation why do, do, do? and there's nothing like to talk about because it's because they don't they don't really care about anything except for you know living their lives and yeah every conversation is just like talking about like where are we going to set things up and where are we going to tear things down and you know and, and, but the one the, the one highlight is the croquet game oh and but no one plays it consistently. We all only play it once a year for the reunion. And so 
by the time we've we've gotten to the next year, everyone's forgotten the rules. A lot of discussion about the rules. And so the the meta of the game <laughs> is just everyone remembering what the rules are and like, yeah. well, you 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 could hit uh hit Tammy, you could hit uh uh Nancy uh two times and you get on through this wicket here. And then you hit that pole, and then you got to do it all again. Now, right now, what you can do, what you can do, is, uh, you know, Faye, Faye and Bud, they, you ain't dead on them. You hit them, and then you get two more hits, and then you take your partner and you knock them through that wicket right there, and then, and then, and then you get through the wicket, then you ain't dead on them no more. You can hit him again. You know, you can get like eighty, you can get eighteen uh, uh moves out of that. You just do, just do what I said, boy. And that, that's how it works. Very oh. accurate. A lot of advice giving throughout the game. They want, yeah. A lot Every, of everyone, tips. everyone wants to tell everybody how to play. Yeah. Know what you got to do. It's like, let me lose. Up. Just let me lose. Just I'll let me it out. lose. Yeah. I'd rather. You know what's funny? This could all be fixed with just a quick, with a, just a quick internet search. To, yeah. Like print, oh. even print it out just to be prepared. But what do you think we got the rule of the show? We got it <laughs> That's from right. That. That's true. You right. <laughs> That's right. You right. Yeah. So it's fun. I, it's coming we up, actually. We're going to have it soon. It's going to be great. You know, speaking of Kentucky, yeah. we just had the Derby. Yeah. Ever heard of it? Whoop, whoop. Ever heard of it? Do, 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 do. Go, Ooh. baby, go. Oh, oh. Yeah. sound effect. Was that a horse? Yeah, it was Ooh. a horse. In our apartment? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Get that thing out of here. Who <laughs> that thing? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we had the Kentucky Derby this yes. weekend, which, like, you know. I don't really care about all that much. I don't much. care about I've never either. Been. I like the hats. I've always wanted to wear a hat. I think they're fun. Yeah. I kind of get like low, low key, low key. Yeah. Low key, low key. Um, I get low key, like Southern, like return to slavery vibes a little bit. It's like, it's like, cause yes. it's cl- It's such a thing for so white people elitist. with money. It it's so, so elitist. It's so for white people. We know how I, I, well, they don't know, but yeah. I mean, you see, like you walk around, the city and it's just full of just people with pastels dudes with like mint green slacks the worst and and like mint like pink uh blazers mm-hmm. with like all these like badges and like the little corn cob hats you know yeah or you know into the straw hats yeah you know? maybe i i think i know and it's all like these are, we're taking it back to the good old days aye, i'm, like, oh, I'm a little worried about what how long is the, the implications are here Oh, over a hundred years. I believe that. I want to say maybe a. I want to say like a hundred and twenty years. You know what? I think it's. Maybe? Don't look it up. Okay. I want to say it's a hundred and fifty because I think I saw a pin. Yeah. Saying like a hundred fiftieth year. Blah, yeah. Blah, but right when slavery also, ended, we're like, well, we got to do something. Let's get these horses ready to go. Also, can I just say my? <laughs> you know my. I uh, we could get into the whole how are the horses being treated? I'm sure horribly. Oh, I, I don't even want to discuss that. That's a knowing whole other thing onto itself. next to nothing about this whole thing. <laughs> yes. We know it's no. We know it's fa- bad. I already know. Yeah. But the thing that frustrates me, and I've said it to many people, is how you have the Derby full of all of these rich ass people coming in. Yeah. All this wealth, and then the community around it just. I mean, I, I don't want to say completely deteriorating because it's not the worst, but it's yeah. not being Talking supported. About South Side. They're not they're not sharing the wealth to, you know, bring up the community, investing in infrastructure, putting in a community center, something. They're like, We're gonna keep all the money and shoo shoo the homeless out so all the rich people can feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Mm-hmm. You suck. Yeah. You suck that's so messed up. And there's a lot of fundraisers around it, but it's that whole concept that really frustrates me. Yeah. Just because of all the stuff that's going on, they're like, we're going to ignore it. So now yeah. we've made another enemy. So in protest of that, I did uh, bet on the ponies <laughs> a little bit yesterday. <laughs> and uh, I lost $12. Um, got pretty close to winning, though. Very close yeah. to winning. Yeah, because I bet on I bet on the first, and I just you know I don't know, I know nothing. We went he to just, a derby party. I just did yes, what my he friend just, did. Yes, he followed followed. Suit. I just followed, um, and uh, I followed the suit. Mm. Um, and uh, what did I do? I bet like three three, three of them. And ten one. Three ten one. Yeah. And three ten twenty one one. You yes, know? very close. Very close. It was 21, th- wait, 21, 3, 10, and then one was the fourth. 
Yeah. I mean, really, if you just got that 21 out of the way, you'd be golden. I know. I wish I'd done it. Potentially 15K. Yeah. And there were so many, so many people in my life who had all of these like supernatural signs that I should bet on that. And they <laughs> did not tell me. It's really crazy. Both my mom and Allison both like, I had a sign that 21 was going to do it. I thought about telling you, but I was like, ah. Well, that is completely <laughs> false. <laughs> First off, your mom said today yeah. she woke up mid nap and was like, mm, 21's going to win. Then went back to sleep. So there was no yeah. connection with you. But she Me, was right. She was right. Um, but and I do have a connection to twenty one. I've had a lot of very close friends yeah. with their birthday on the twenty first. Yeah. Throughout various months. So when it did, I was like, Oh my god, I should have mentioned it. And ten is my lucky number. Yeah. So I, you know, I didn't have any quarrels with that. But I don't I don't know enough. I mean, I kind of stay out of it because I do not want to get my hopes up. I I try to be like, oh, it's fine, but also I'm so eager so i just mm -hmm. i just try to you know i go the opposite way and i'm like i don't care about any of it yeah so i'm sorry clearly it's my fault that's all i wanted was a little mm -hmm. apology that's fine sure. yeah no you i know? get it i get it i mean that's i missed out need. on what fifteen thousand dollars it's mm -hmm. no big deal yeah it's my fault we'll get it you could have you know paid off your car we'll get it in the back end yeah <laughs> life <laughs> it'll come around don't you worry it'll come yeah. around at some point it all comes out in the wash Eventually. i like to say <laughs> i love yeah. yeah, you do what love saying that, that. You say that all the time. It's like, oh, I dropped my phone down this cliff. Like, oh, it'll all come out in the wash. It'll come out in the wash. What does that mean? You know, you've lost that really phone. Knows. You're not getting it back ever. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> what? It's gone. You got to buy a new one. You got to buy a new one. Yeah. Well, yeah. What was the name of the horse who won? I can't even remember. Oh, I don't know. I think it was Epicenter. Is that Epicenter. right? Epicenter. That might be wrong. Mm. You know what's so funny is like... And that's another thing I think keeps me out of it is like these horse names are so stupid. Yeah. You know, it's like, all right, next we got one for the money, two for the show. <laughs> Followed up by, uh, hey, you only lose twice in life. And, you know, <laughs> followed by critical uh, darling. It's like, what are these? Followed up by the love you make is equal to the love, love you take. <laughs> Like, why can't you just call it, like, Steve? Charles. Or, like, or something cool, you know? That humanizes them too much. You think so? Maybe. You know what's funny? I just realized this. There is a correlation between, like, really awkward names but, uh, between um, horse racing mm -hmm. and tractor pulling. Hmm. Okay? Interesting. My dad... W was a big aficionado Shout of tractor dead dad. pulls. Shout out to Dead Dad, R.I.P. Um, like he used to, he used to, he used to uh, do tractor pulling, mm -hmm. right? And if you don't know what that is, it's like oh, so stupid. We get the they take tractors and they go to the fair and they drive it down a, a mudden path and they they pull like a thing with like a bunch of weights on it and it's like how far can you? push the weights before your tractor gets get, goes out you know stops going places too heavy yeah and it, it's all about the weights and i got this amount of weights in this class and blah but you know it, it's really just an opportunity for people to like build like custom tractors mm -hmm. and it was we did garden class so these are like lawnmower tractors these are not even like actual like farm machinery so these are like the, these are like it's like the lame the lamos of like the kind of already lame thing it's not even like the heavy duty farm machinery tractor pulls you I know? didn't know that it's just like he just like got like a john deere tractor or like a cub cadet you know and um but it was all custom made i mean he built the he built it from scratch yes yeah, so your dad impressive. wasn't messing around with that yeah he he, he had a great mechanical mind mm -hmm. um but uh you know all the names were like Riding Molly, you know, or you know, it's uh bleed bleeding blue all the way to the to the sunset. And it's like, why couldn't you just call it bleeding blue? You know, that would have been way cooler. You know, I think that's I think it's different though, because these aren't living, breathing things. And yeah. isn't that is that similar to what other races do we do they do that with cars and NASCAR? Is that a thing oh, too? I don't know. I've never watched that. Hey, in in the comments, you guys, hey, in in the comments, can you just just yeah, let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. All you NASCAR fans yeah, out there. Yeah, we know they're you know you're out there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I'm just saying, why does it have to be so awkward? Can't yeah, we, I don't just know. Just call it something cool. Just, I know. You know, I don't get it. It is weird. The horse name thing is weird. I mean, again, all of it is so beyond me, and it's all... Yeah, I get the elitist, the classes, and it's just, mm-hmm. I don't know, it's not my thing. And 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 on the, you know, if we're going to not get into all of the other um, kind of, uh, like, ideas behind it, um, that's not mm-hmm. what I was trying to look for. We all know I forget words. <laughs> um, I understand it being a fun outing. You know, you get dressed up, you put the hats, again, hats, all here for the hats. It's a fun social event. We could just talk about that alone. I think that's cute. You kind of get out. It's a fun little day. Okay. I get that. I'm here for that. I want people to have fun and enjoy it. But there's just so much attached to that, I think. And Mm -hmm. it's just, I just can't, I don't know. I can't not see it. Yeah. I know too much as a social worker. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, too. Mm -hmm. I just know too much. Yeah. You know too much. They're going to come for you one of these days. Honestly, I'm waiting for it. And not not like I'm going to do anything as though this is my time. Yeah. This is my time now. Yeah. Um, so also happy Mother's Day. Oh, happy Mother's Woo! Day. Well, we don't this probably won't come out on Mother's we Day. We love the but mothers. Maybe but it will. but it but we're recording it yes, on Mother's Day. We are. And uh just shout out to all the moms out there. <laughs> we, yes. we need all the moms to listen to this podcast. Please, moms. So please, you know, this is for you. This, this is for is you. For you. So um, please just give it to us. So I had a friend today text me like, happy Mother's Day because oh. I have a dog. And, oh. um, you know, Yikes. if my friend is listening right now. Do I know who this friend it. is? Yes, you do. Oh. Um, and I think it's funny. But I will say, I, yeah, maybe a little bit. Okay. I, I obviously cannot equate having a dog to having a yeah. human child. Yeah. And I do have a thing with. I would never unironically call my dog like I would never say mommy's here. Yeah. It makes me very uncomfortable yeah. and everyone else puts that on me. Yeah. Like I'll go to the vet and they'll say, oh, is mom here to pick you up? And I'm like, I yeah. purchased her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like this is I love her so much. I would die. I would legitimately die oh, yeah. for her. She's but the baby. I don't address her. She's the baby. Yeah. But I don't. I don't look at her like. I mean, I'm a mother figure, but I wouldn't call myself mommy's here. I wouldn't say that out loud. Yeah. It, you know, in unless not sincerely, at least. Yeah. It makes me uncomfortable. I wish my mom felt that way. Cause she's she, loves she, it. she goes so hard into it. She's like, "Oh, you gotta get, tell your daddy you want another tree." I know. I think that's cute, though. I actually and then like I that. Ca- <laughs> and I call and I call and I lean into it for because I, I she's know. Like, oh, I there's like grandma. It. Go give your grandma a kiss. I know. It is funny. Yeah. I do kind of like that when other people do it. Like my yeah. do- my dad. He was he was like, "Oh, you know, this is my grand my grand dog." He did the same mm-hmm. thing, and I'm like, "Oh, that's kind of fine." When I, other I, people do it, I. I'm like, okay, you know, like yeah. people who I care about. It's a little different. I just yeah. think it gets a little too far when it's like she's saying I'm the brother's cat. That's you know? my favorite. She's talking to her cat. Marie's like, go get your brother. I love <laughs> that so much. Like, I'm not a cat. This cat brother. is like 700 years old. Oh, this cat the is cat. older she's than so sweet. Joe Biden and mm. fucking, you know father time that put together yeah i couldn't think of anyone old she is immortal yes she's like dorian gray she is beautiful she's a small white cat Oof, very yeah. regal very classy well, the name her name is marie marie which i think is italian so i always say Mel- marie! Like, oh, no, that's french marie! Marie! how marie! old how old is she like 20 hey, she's literally she's 23 over 20 years old yeah she's yeah. definitely like maybe like Wild. 22 23 oh, the baby's you know? here trying to get attention oh. We're going to put a picture of the baby in the show notes. Yeah, we should. Yeah. And then, What does that mean? Uh-huh. I don't know. We don't have show notes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I've, I don't even, you've, I think you've said that before. I you don't know even what know what we that need means. to do. We need to make an Instagram for mm. the show. Okay. And then be like, oh, here's, yes. here's the baby. I, we know what you're looking for. Yeah. We know what the people want. They want an Instagram for the pod. Yeah. Or, or maybe we could just use our own instagram accounts to promote yeah the show. like why do we need i don't understand why so uncomfortable you need an account for the show if you're already promoting yourself as a brand like do we need to promote that many brands well if you're big enough you know? but i mean why can't it be part of the brand you know 
Like, I don't think... I think that's too much. It's going to clutter up your yeah. feed. I think it, it makes that's sense for saying. people who listen to the pod yeah. to have a separate Instagram that you can just boop and look through all the stuff. I like that. Yeah. And clips and stuff. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think it makes sense. We need to get an intern and... <sighs> There's so much work. This is so much work. Honestly, it's impressive how you're doing this on your own. Adam is doing this all on his own. He's yeah. never, d- he's not, is an audiologist? Is That's wrong. What did you say it was? It's a mixologist. No, that's drinks. <laughs> it was something else. Uh, audio engineer. Audio engineer. Yeah, and mixing, I know it's hard work. Mixing is part of the process. Yeah. So the fact that you're just teaching yourself is very impressive. Thank you. And I yeah. did the theme song. You did. Very I don't know if anyone great. noticed. That, that is Adam's yeah, voice. You're like, who is thing. this? Yeah. Who is this pop star who's singing this? Who did they hire for this? <laughs> yeah. That's Adam. That's so me. just like. Just like Chuck Norris singing his the scene theme song for Walker Texas Ranger. <laughs> Walker, if you yeah. didn't know that, now yeah. you do. That's, if you don't know, now you know. Thank you so much for You're bringing welcome. that up because I You're did so want to touch on that. Good. You know, I told I told the audience last mm. week we'd, we'd have some 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 feedback <laughs> yes. you know, for them on on the Walker Texas yes. Ranger. It's my favorite. And uh, I'm happy to say we we got a couple episodes in, didn't we, babe? Oh, did we ever? Yeah. So we're in season one, mm-hmm. and we're just going through them um, one at a time. And yes. So, Your mom has been so kind to lend us some of her DVD. Yeah. Oh my God, we got her because we know she loves Chuck Norris. We got her the whole series on DVD, Walker Texas Ranger seasons one through like eight, I think, or nine. All I it's all of them. It's every season. It's I, I don't know how many seasons, but it's. It's all of them, season. yeah. Yeah, and like, and this was in December, and it's mm-hmm. May, and like a month ago, I'm like, hey, you watching that Walker? She's like, oh, no, I'm getting to it. Also, she does listen to the pod, so mm. love you. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to mom. <laughs> and uh, I'm just like, <laughs> oh, we got you. Oh, yes. But okay. she's finally getting through it. I think she's yes. in season two or three now, so she lent us what she'd already watched, and because it's not on streaming services either. So it's not like, ah, oh, who cares? Yeah. This is something that you got to purchase or watch it I on TV. I why. Like a like, freak. It's a great show. It is honestly a solid watch. We were watching it ironically yes. as a joke first. And now we're into it. I'm like, oh, this show is kind of tight. Good. People are giving it. And yeah. obviously there's a lot of insanely hilarious moments where you're like, what? Yeah. But uh, Trevet, are you kidding me? Trivet. Trivet. Yeah. What a delight. He's kind of freaky. I love him. He's a little freaky deaky. He's sexy. <laughs> you think so? I think he's, he's in attractive. great shape. He yeah. is ripped. Killer shape. Yeah. I was like, oh. I mean, the first, when we meet Trevette, he is in a Speedo. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. They show all of it. They're like, look at his statuesque figure. Also, I think there's a little like homoerotic going, this going on between him and Walker. Because like, Walker Ooh. really like handles him around sometimes. Oh, yeah. You know, Does he? whereas Trivet's like, Trivet's like, ah, I'm not doing that. And then Walker just takes Come him, here. puts hands on him and put, slams him up, up against the walls. Like, no, this is what we're doing. And then they like almost kiss. They're like, <laughs> yeah. nah, just kidding. We ain't gay. No and, then he, and then he makes like a little joke. Like, yeah. well, you know, what are, whatever you're going to do. A quip. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's my favorite. He did. There was some <laughs> there in the last episode. He makes his quip yes. of like all. All home and or wait, all accidents happen in the home or something like that. Is he's yeah. taking he's out in a bad a hotel. guy? He's in a hotel. It's not even a home. He's not even in a home, and it doesn't yeah. really apply. But it is so funny. Yeah. Also, he ends. He he's like being. He's kind of condescending to people yes. to make him kind of look like a good dude. Very. And don't get me wrong. I'm a Walker fan. I'm here for it. But it Walker's is gonna get condesc- him. Walker's Walker gonna, gonna get him. Get him. Yeah. It is a little condescending. Yeah. Um. But again, love the show. Here for it. Yeah. So just a quick recap. So the last episode. Yeah. We uh. This is what you want. Yeah. So uh, Trevette has has gone undercover with a group of convicts. They're on a bus to a prison, and there's a really bad storm. They get into a wreck. The convicts uh escape. And then they hole up in this, uh, like, I don't know if it's an abandoned hotel because there's no, people No, no, it's there. just closed. It's just closed also, because of the weather. Also, Trevette looks like Prison Mike. Yeah. We didn't inter- he, he's, the, the, what makes him, like, a bad guy is he has a bandana on. And he's black. Yeah. He always, <laughs> he, well, he's just yeah. been black. You're like, oh, and also he's black, so it's implied. But they're just like, oh, you're like, black, you'll fit right in. I know, it's Because so, he sounds so, I mean, he's, He you know, doesn't. 
sound like he's like he's like rough and tumble. No, there's no there's no coding uh, happening at all. So he's, he's just like, you know, they're like Trevet, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna go do stuff with this guy's wife, and he's like, I don't believe that's a good idea. Yeah, he's I'm like, like, oh, you're such man, a tough that dude. ain't cool, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, like what? Shut up. He's a worse actor. So you know, yes. so they're holding up in this hotel. And, uh, you know, Chuck Norris uh, immediately infiltrated. We were like, oh, it's going to take you half the episode my to God. get in here. The, wait, as the, soon as the he bus gets there, crashes. He's like, oh, here, it's right here. They're like, oh, my God, we haven't heard from him. I think the bus crashed. And he's like, yeah. he finds the bus within five minutes. Yeah. And then gets the, and not even finds the hotel, sneaks into the hotel, somehow yeah. knowingly yeah. that they're there. He, he, like, why would he sneak if he didn't know they were there? I know. If, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, there's some shit going down here. I got to sneak in. I'm a sneaky ninja. Right. Also, and, I'm, I've am i got native blood, so. And then he, yeah, he's like, I'm half Cherokee, which yeah. apparently is true. He's I'm a like, quarter oh, Cherokee, gotta, gotta, apparently. Gotta, gotta, so. gotta give it to him, yeah. Little, little, yeah. But anyway, so he find, first thing he does, first thing he sees is a guest in the hotel who's like by herself and yeah. she's like gonna, she's about to commit suicide because she's a paraplegic. It is so intense. We're just watching it and she's yeah. we're like, oh, where did this lady come from yeah. and then a gun immediately yeah. we're like what the yeah. fuck is happening and he's like i don't have time for this <laughs> he, and she comes in she's like i don't want to live because i'm a cripple and i'm like what the fuck oh is my happening? gosh she calls herself a cripple she, multiple so many times, times. Like, Yo. and also you know this woman does not in a wheelchair so obviously the ableism and is oh, ridiculous yeah. but it's like i don't need to, i mean it is crazy how she's like my life was great yeah. then i got an accident i'm in a wheelchair and my husband left me yeah. and i need to die and i'm like what yeah. is happening and then right there now? were like there were so many scenes where like she contributes by just like running her wheelchair she into just throws stuff. herself she into th- people she just throws herself downstairs and walker's like good job i knew you she, could do it she, yeah and she's like stop it yeah and then and then after it's like, oh, Walker, you showed me how to be useful as a cripple, and I now I have a new lease on life. Yes, you and saved then it's me. like at the end of the episode, they're like at a bar and like, you sure know how to talk to him, Walker. And then she kisses him. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, they're oh, dating they're now. Oh, they're dating now. Because there is a scene. Can I just say there was a scene that I can't remember what happened. He just picks her up, yeah. invades her space, yeah, and then he was it. like, I just needed a reason to hold you or something. Okay, she, maybe she does, but her face does not look like she loves it. He is making an assumption. So many things in movies and TV are like, I just get to come in here and touch you because yeah. it's going to be fine and we're going to get together she in the end. She is clearly not attracted to him whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, her face is like, okay, yeah. but I can't walk. So I guess there's, I get, she could hit him, but have you seen Chuck Norris fights? She wasn't going to. Yeah, when? you do one of those back one of those spins. <laughs> slaps, oh, you know? I love when he punches. He does like a spin and then punches. Like there's so much <laughs> like acrobatic kind of yeah. maneuvers. And you know they're it. throwing those those sound effects oh, in there. You know, yes. Yeah, also, Whoosh! very entertaining to watch. It really is. Yeah, it's a great I really show. enjoy it. Great show. Yeah. Yeah. I love it, it so much. Mm-hmm, I can't wait mm-hmm, to watch the rest mm-hmm. of them, and because they're so ridiculous. They're so ridiculous. Yeah. They're so. And you know what? I'm sorry. And I think we all know Chuck Norris, not the best actor. Terrible actor. He's actually. doing his damnedest. Yeah. But it's so like, mm, that's what I thought, Trevette. Yep. <laughs> all right. We're going to have a good time. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, and it makes it so much more enjoyable for me because everyone around him is really just doing it. Some people very talented. Some people not as talented. Yeah. But it is show because he's the main dude. Yeah. And he's not good at acting. Yeah. But he's good at kicking, and that's why we're there. Good at kicking butt. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I think, uh, what do you we're think? Are, I think, are we good? Do you want to cut it? I mean, I you think I it? think we said what we need to say. I, yeah. I mean. We got it all out there. Oh, there's always something, you know? Yeah. There's always more. We'll be back. We we'll be th- back. With just a couple of thoughts. <laughs> I feel like Mr. Rogers, like, we'll be back next tomorrow. Blue, 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 blue. And then I put the sweater on and then I, I throw it, toss the shoe playfully from one hand to the other. And I catch it. You're oh, like, oh, is he going to get oh. it? And then, and then I walk out. Boom. And then. Then you look to the camera and you go, always. 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 Always.